everybody, it's Jeff from New York, and today we're back in Vegas, and I'm combining two videos here. Part one is going to be at Gillies in the Treasure Island, or TI, and the other one is my hotel room when I stayed at Treasure Island. Uh, so they're kind of related, but they're basically two different videos that I'm combining into one because they're both short. I'm going to hold off on my commentary until we get inside, because once we get inside, there's lots of country music playing, and I need to talk over it to avoid a copyright strike on this channel. And the last thing I want is some country artist attorney knocking on my door. Okay, so bear with me here. I think Gillies does line dancing lessons every night at 7 o'clock or maybe 8 o'clock. I'm not sure, but check out their website. They'll let you know. Uh, and I'm going to let this video go with the instructor doing his instructions. And once the music starts, I will continue with my commentary. Here we go, five, six, ready, go. So slap, point, slap, two, three, four. Right behind, right, go, left behind, left. Back, two, three, go, step, stop, step, stop, fan, fan, step. That is the indentation. Alrighty, so here's where the music starts, and uh, in order to keep my nose clean and watch my back, again, I need to commentate over this, and I lowered the audio. So it's early in the evening. It's about 7, 7.30. Uh, I am coming in off the strip. I'm going to take my disco nap before I go back out on the strip later on this evening. And before I head up to my room, which I'm going to show later in this video, I thought I'd stop into Gillies and see what was going on this time of the night, which again is pretty early. And uh, we'll stop off at a couple of sports bars on the way up to my room, and then we'll check out my room. But while we're in Gillies, I just wanted to show you guys around. They're known for line dancing. They're, of course, Gillies girls. And they're bronking bull, which uh, customers can ride. And just hold off for a few minutes, because I have a story about a drunken woman bull rider coming up shortly. So in my real life, I'm a manager. And uh, clearly, as a manager, you need to keep your people engaged. And these people are not engaged. As a matter of fact, they look like they're not having a good time at all. Hey, they're on vacation. They're looking for a fun time. They're looking for some good company, a couple of drinks, some really good music. But the instructor left. He was more or less like, I told you what to do. The music started. Just do it. So the dance floor cleared. No engagement. People disengage. So with the dance floor cleared, let's take a walk around this place and see what it looks like. Gillies has been in town for a while, and it's known as one of the best country and western places on the Strip. Not just by tourists, but locals as well. Locals seem to come here on a weekly basis for either karaoke, dancing, or uh, just some good entertainment. The place is also known for that bronking bull ride and the Gillies Girls, or cocktail waitresses, that serve uh, cocktails and food here. And as I stated earlier, I got here pretty early. It was about 7 o'clock. I wanted to just stop in before I went up to my room. Before I wanted to take a nap before I went out for the evening. And uh, I decided not to drink any alcoholic beverages while I was here. And the bartender uh, didn't charge me for my Diet Cokes. And I appreciated that and tipped him accordingly. And with regards to that bronking bull, I heard a story while I was here about uh, how they control that. So they seem to be a lot more rougher, the uh, employees here, on the guys than they are on the gals. But there was one evening where a very drunk gal got on and insisted that they give her the guy ride. So they were pretty rough, and uh, they, she was surrounded by a bunch of people watching. And she began to vomit. Uh, projectile vomit while the bull was swinging around and managed to hit just about everyone that was watching her. Needless to say, drinks were on the house for the next round. Just walking through a couple of sports bars at the uh, TI before I head up to the room and they're very busy. Looks like these people are more interested in sports than they are in line dancing tonight. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button when you do you're automatically enrolled in the next $50 gift card giveaway here on the New York channel. If you plan on visiting Vegas in the near future, check out the link below in the description. 50 things to do and tips while visiting Las Vegas. This is the Seafood Shack, a popular seafood restaurant here at the uh, Treasure Island. And uh, the front of it, right where we are now, is a bar. And if you walk around to the back of the bar, it actually opens up into a nice seafood restaurant.
And I took the elevator up to the 34th, I believe it was the 34th floor here at the TI. Uh, we're all the way down the hallway at the end. I did give them one of my $20 sandwiches when I checked in, and it got me a nice upgrade, a higher floor, a strip view, and a bottle of champagne waiting for me at my hotel room, so I appreciated that. And this is my room. Nothing extravagant. The Treasure Island or TI is a moderately priced hotel and casino. Um, they didn't comp me, but I did get the room for free for several days because I had lots of points on my uh, company that I booked through, which is Expedia. So I pretty much stayed here for free for, I believe it was five days, uh, except for the resort fee, which I could not get around, unfortunately. The room was very comfortable. Everything appeared to be new. Um, and like I said, it's a moderately priced room, so I was very pleased with what it looked like. The only real issue I could see, and it wasn't an issue for me at all, was uh, the bathroom has one sink. So when you're traveling alone like I did on this occasion, it really makes no difference. But if you're traveling with someone else or especially a family, the two sinks really are a big help. And my attempt to show you the view, which I'm about ready to do, turned into an epic fail. Uh, the, the window has one of those films, those advertisements over it, which uh, does not block the view at all. But unfortunately, my camera picked it up, and uh, I didn't realize it until I put this video together, but it looks horrible. But really, when you're looking out the window in real life, not through a camera lens, uh, you see right through that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.